Hi guys, it's Ryan here off of the Private Banking Forum. I'm just doing my trading journal for the day. I'm just going to explain what I've uh, seen this morning and how I approached the day. Uh, I actually got nailed on two trades this morning. Um, partly my fault uh, due to me not completing my top-down analysis correctly this morning as I was, uh, got up a bit late and I was in a bit of a rush. Um, so, uh, so what I did off the open is I tried to do a go no-go trade off of, um, off of yesterday's uh, high. So as you can see, the market um, we drove down. Uh, we basically opened up right at the um, yesterday's highs, and buyers did respond. And um, what happened was, is we saw a rotation up, and we just we just ran out of buyers, and um, we see this market sell off into yesterday's range and uh, tested yesterday's levels. So okay, sorry about that, guys. I just um, had to keep an eye on this market as we came back up into um, RTH uh, the developer value and we tested uh, the developer value area low so I just got my second scale out on this trade I'm just going to continue to explain of how I approach today's uh, market so obviously I did the, the go no go trade um, off the open um, I ended up taking um, a loss on this trade um, I tried to get long again uh, at the developer value area low and I got nailed on that again so um, I had two losses this morning and um, not a very good start to my day this morning so what I did is I just let uh, sat back and um, cleared my head and um, the market clearly was telling even though I, my bias was to the upside with with my my feelings and I shouldn't have been trading off my feelings I should have been trading off of um, logical information uh, this market was showing me that we are we that I needed to be a seller so what happened to here after I got nailed a couple of times is um I start I started to sell um, RTH uh, VWAP and uh, the developing value area low on ETH and um, this is where I'll, my current position is now um, obviously I'm fully scaled out, I've got two scale outs on this trade and I'm managing my core position we're currently in a um, expansion run to the downside and I'm just going to be looking for some um, for some logical target areas now so obviously the first target area is going to be um, yesterday's uh, value area low I mean we have two areas yesterday we have the upper distribution and the lower distribution and you can clearly see that this uh, this market is getting pretty aggressive to the downside uh, we've got the first IB extension level at, um, at 46 is so this will be the the next place to look and that lines up pretty good with um, obviously yesterday's uh, value area low on ETH and RTH so just something to um, to keep an eye on here I'm just monitoring the, the auction process as this um, as it's starting to unfold today just uh, just keeping an eye on everything, making sure I'm not missing everything. We're just at uh, this week's developing value area low at the minute, and we're at this month's um, VWAP. So it'd be interesting to see um, if we start to see some buyers coming in here and this market starting to reverse. I can see some some buying absorption coming in and um, some some buyers coming in hitting the bid here. So I'm gonna pause this video and. Um, I'm just going to manage this trade and I'll let you know how I get on and uh, go into some stuff a bit into um, into this a bit more detail this morning of what I've missed and what I should have um, and how I should have approached this morning. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Okay, um, I'm just going to explain what I've done. Um, it's currently uh, 10.30 Eastern Time. Uh, we've still seen this market um, grind lower. Uh, I've got an ad um, as we came back up into RTH developing value area low and obviously testing uh, developing value area low on ETH also um, it came back up to the initial balance area and um, I, I added to my a forward position here again um, I just got my first scale out I accidentally added to a full position um, by adding three contracts so I was actually trading four contracts um, I have just took uh, two off on my first scale out and um, I'm looking to get my second scale out at the, uh, the first IB low extension um, at 105.46, I can see some pretty major confluence in the minute that we're um, that's propping this market up. Obviously, we're at uh, this week's developing value area low. Um, we're at the monthly uh, mean VWAP price, and um, we are actually currently trading into the Midas VWAP from this um, from this anchor level from the highs. So it's just interesting to see that the market obviously today came up tested to the developing value area higher from this anchor point and um, we've seen a rotation back down to the mean so uh, just some major confluence um, in this market at the minute at this level 
Uh, I'm not too sure if we're going to break down further or not, but I mean we are back into yesterday's major distribution, and um, it does look like we are continuing to reject uh, the developing value area, and um, obviously the VWAPs are migrating down. So just um, just keeping an eye on everything here. Obviously my stop is uh, back in yes uh, today's initial balance now. Obviously I don't want to see this come back into the initial balance. And I don't want to see this market come back into value. So, just um, just seeing what's happening here. Obviously, my second scale out is also lining up with yesterday's uh, value area low. So, anyways, I'll keep posted on um on how um, this trade develops. Well, okay, guys. Um, what happened was on this trade is um I ended up taking uh, my core position stop. But, um, as we came back into the initial balance, and uh, what we see is a uh, a reversion to the sort of mean on um, ETH, and we've seen um, this market obviously come back up to um, the developing value area highs uh, on the RTH. Um, also, I've seen a a good bit of uh, sell absorption coming in here. So what I've done is obviously I've re-established a position off of um, off of the RTH developing value area highs. I want to see if we can see a uh, another push below the initial balance. Um, obviously, if there's more selling to be done on the day here, then we're going to see. Um, this market uh, enticing new sellers um, into this developing value area higher here. And, uh, so I see at the moment I'm gonna have my stop um, above uh, yesterday's value area higher and um, above yesterday's uh, high of day, which is uh, well that would be too much risk on this trade. Hold on, I'm just trying to make sure my levels are correct. Yeah, just my stop's gonna be above um, obviously today's uh, ETH VWAP and. Um, Today's developing value area high and yesterday's value area high. Obviously, we want to see sellers locking in, um, locking in this market to the sell side. So, I mean, I've got one scale out on this. My second scale out is into the initial balance low. So, um, we did see some pretty good um, divergence um, as we came up and tested these highs on the on the delta. And as you can see, we are rolling over now. So, um, obviously, the next confidence level below us is. And the initial balance and um and the point of control and uh the developing value area low so I'm just gonna see what happens here and um we have actually got a poor low at the lows at the minute and um, which is obviously um in our favor that um we should obviously continue down with this poor low uh, just um just checking if there's anything else I can update with you uh update you on. I can't find anything, so I'll just let you know how um I managed this uh trade. We've got a new TPO period coming out in three minutes, so I'll keep you posted. Okay, um it is currently twelve o'clock Eastern time. Um I've been in this uh this short off of the developing value area high for um for quite some time now, uh, I've just got my second scale out um, at the uh, ETH developing value area low. Also, ETH developing value area low. Yesterday's point of control and today's um, TPO developing value area low. So this seemed like a, a good place to um, to get my second scale out. Uh, there was enough room for it. And just um, just playing the market by ear here. Uh, I don't. Um, it's a bit of a slow rotational day. It's turned into. Not too sure um, whether it's just to call it quits today. Um, I've got, I mean, I've had four trades today. I had two losses off the open. Um, I've got short and managed to get a uh, a nice little position going, um, which I ended up getting stopped out on um, for a, a profit. And um, and obviously now I'm taking this sort of mean reversion type of trade, selling the the value area high and targeting the the value area low. So I mean, we could see a um, a continuation to the downside here. Uh, we're still just um, inside of yesterday's value area, and we have a poor low at the minute at the lows. Um, obviously, buyers responded here from this bottom distribution and um, pushed the market back out. Just trying to figure out um, what the market's trying to do here. Um, if obviously we hold, um, if we see some buying absorption coming in here, and we hold this uh, this developing value area low on ETH, and obviously target's going to be um, the value area high for the day so um, also we're testing the initial balance lows again so if we again fail here again then we're just gonna obviously you see rotations in the initial balance and um, and people buying off of the lows so 
uh, just another area to, to keep an eye on. Um, its initial balance is currently at uh, 86s, so just uh, keep an eye on this. I'm not seeing any key absorption or buy and absorption at this level at the minute. I mean, it's just mixed tape and mixed tape here. So, anyways, I'll um, I'll keep you posted if I end up targeting this area or um, or we see a reversal up or we start breaking down lower again. Uh, just something to also highlight uh, is we are clearly trying to hold last week's uh, value area on the week so we could see another mean reversion and a test the other side of value just um, obviously with the last couple of days um, we've had some pretty good buying coming into the market so I think the longer term we are looking up but um, who knows anyway I'll keep you posted okay guys um, I ended up just closing my position out as uh, we come back into value and we're just seeing rotations back up here I did um I did let the market sort of come down and test a lower day and see if we could get another rotation down but uh it just um we never got there and we see sort of buyers respond back up into value here so I'm uh, pretty much done for the day now I think um we've got three minutes into the next period so I've had a bit of a tough day today, uh just sort of grinding away here. I'm just gonna explain obviously what I saw this morning and what I was talking about on the forum this morning. Um regards to obviously trying to buy these um these highs of a go no go trade as we opened uh this sort of gap up off the open and um just gonna explain what I saw. <coughs> so first of all I'm gonna start off with um the quarterly VWAP. So we opened um we obviously tested the uh, the quarterly VWAP um, developing value area high and um, obviously we've just seen a rotation down here so obviously sellers sort of responded um, from this area so obviously you don't really want to be a buyer into the developing value area high on the quarterly um, from a higher time pr frame perspective it just doesn't make um, sense so if we look at this um, from a logical perspective obviously it's just a, a, a heads up that we've um, that you don't want to really be a buyer here, trying to buy it up. Unless we were out of um, out of the quarterly value area, then we could use it as confluence, obviously, because we want to see it re uh, keep rejecting the, the value area higher. But we we're inside it still, so I mean, you just look for a mean reversion like you would as on a daytime frame. So that was the first thing I saw this morning. The second thing I saw this morning was um, the same thing on the on the monthly. I mean. We not only did we reject um, obviously last month's value area high, we've also tagged um, the developing value area high from this month, and um, and uh, we're seeing its market come back to the mean. So it's just another heads up. Obviously, you don't really want to be a buyer at the um, at the one hundred six fifty level when uh, when this has just happened. So it's just another heads up that. Um, Obviously, you don't really want to be a buyer buying into um into that level. And uh, another heads up, obviously, was on the weekly. Um, we I'm just trying to make sure this all lines up here. So where we opened um at the at the developing value week high, and um, I know we only took two days in, but it's still um to sort of look over this stuff and we came straight back into into the, this month this week's developing value area and uh, what we would have obviously wanted to see is um, this market hold um, the top of value and we didn't we just sort of see sellers responding here and um, we came back into value on the weekly so what's going to happen is we're going to see a mean reversion and the, and the test the other side of value which we did I think this is why we've seen this this poor low coming in today. Um, obviously, we're just seeing um, buyers respond uh, from these uh, lower levels at the moment, um, holding the weekly developing value area low. And if you look at today's profile, we've got a a pretty poor low um, developing today. And um, if you look at it, if you split the profiles out, then you can see that obviously we're just rejecting the lower distribution from yesterday, the balance area, and um, and buyers are pretty they're just clearly responding from this area because every time we come down here we just see buyers stepping in and um and are rejecting this uh lower balance distribution from yesterday so 
uh, just a pretty tough day, um, pretty tough day for me anyway, and uh, just try to play things the best I can, I mean I took four trades today, I don't normally take four trades, I normally try take one or two trades, three trades maximum, so um, pretty much digging myself out of a hole that I dug myself in this morning, uh, which is obviously a tough job to do, but um, it's just part of uh, trading, so, and the last thing is obviously the, what I'm looking at on the on the anchor points on the view apps. I've uh, obviously got a, a view app anchored from the the low before we sort of saw this rally, and uh, now I've got a view app anchored from the highs. And as you can see, we came up to um, the value area high on both of these um, both of these view app profiles, and uh, and we couldn't trade above it. So obviously, we're seeing a sort of mean reversion from this anchor point, and you can see that we're clearly holding the view app at the moment. And um, obviously it's a sort of mean reversion from the anchor point from the lower point, but obviously the, the, the VWAP's down here, but same principles, obviously this is the value area higher, so and we clean, we've clean clearly seen a sellers respond from this from this area, so obviously off the open do you really want to be a buyer buying into this um, value area higher here, it's not a, a wise idea um, if you ask me, so I mean I was just pretty uh, lapsed with this all this morning, I just got it in my head that I wanted to be a buyer from... Um, the last couple of days and I was just impatient waiting for the correct locations and reading this market obviously we had quite a, a big selling response um, back into yes into into yesterday's um, range so I instantly thought that once this market got locked into yesterday's range I just wanted to to, um, to sell it in but obviously at first of all I wanted to be a buyer and I didn't want to see it um, I didn't want to see the market trade into yesterday's range I wanted to see rejection and uh, we just clearly didn't see rejection. We just see selling straight off the open, and um, and that's just how it worked out. So that's what I saw this morning, and the reasons why um why I was wrong and why this market obviously didn't find buyers. So anyway, I hope um that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, then uh, please ask me on my trading journal on the forum, and um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.